Howdy, y'all, and welcome to another episode of Pour and Review by the Butcher Man. We are going to be looking at Bohemia Country 2016. And as you can see, all of that is not in English. I cannot read it. So, don't even worry about it. This, I got, this mod I got off of Mod Hub, I believe. Mod Hub. You'll have to look down in the description below and see see about it I'll put the link down there as I always do as I always do if I put a map up and the good thing about this map is the mods that are required are actually in the map download so you download it you unzip it put all that stuff in your mods folder I actually put it in a separate mods folder so you'll notice like drive control some of the other stuff isn't in there okay so there's no mods except for what's required uh, in the the map itself Okay, let's jump into it. Let's take a look at the map. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Only nine fields, right? Only nine fields. A, B, C, D, less. I don't know all that, but those look like all grass. I'm assuming you probably own all of them. From the looks of it, you probably own all of them. Um, which is fine. I mean, if that's what you like, you own all of them. It looks like you got a farm here with a cell point. And then another farm up there somewhere with a cell point, and then a biomass heating plant. It doesn't look like there's going to be like. I mean, there's not. It doesn't look like there's a town you're going to drive to. Where's this at? There's a cell point. It says there's a cell point over here. Right? Maybe. Uh, is that bales? I think it's bales. Yeah, I think it's bales. Buy cup Belaku or something like that. All right, so that's bales. All right, as you can see, there's equipment everywhere. I I like logged in, like got on this map like just a little bit ago, uh, but I ended up logging off so I can switch my sound and all that stuff so I can start recording. So I haven't actually looked around the map, but we're good into this. You start out. This is starting equipment, obviously, because I just jumped into it. T four point seven five Power Star New Holland. You have a T six point one six zero New Holland. You have one Puma 160 case. You have one case 380 Magnum. You have one T8.435 Smart Tracks New Holland. Uh, one loader or one bucket. One man semi or Mack truck. One 9230 combine. One Crone Big X combine. Um, the big header, I think that's the big header, 13.7, the crone header, so the silage header for like corn, then grass and straw, and then grass and the regular wheat and stuff, header trailer, this dump trailer, this cultivator, this plow, one of these cedars, one of these cedars, one of those mowers, one of those mowers, a pickup wagon, a bale shredder, a mixing trailer, a tether, a rake, this tank, sprayer, fertilizer spreader, a manure spreader, um, a manure, uh, uh, what is that called? The spreading the stuff, the liquid manure, the slurry, spreading slurry spreader, a round baler, a bale pickup trailer, a Telehandler, Liebherr Telehandler, and the Telehandler Bucket. Right? Wow. Okay. So you start off with pretty well every piece of equipment you're going to need to run a farm that big. Okay. You could probably use a couple of extra combines, that sort of thing. Um, but overall, it looks like you start with pretty well everything. Uh, the map maker, not sure who it is. I didn't look. Obviously, nothing's in English. I can't probably couldn't read his name anyway. But it looks like he starts you off with everything, everything you need. The only thing I notice is that there's a lack of is there's no tractor weights, which isn't that big of a deal. Uh, but you'll have to buy your own tractor weights, so you might have to use you know a bit of your money first off. What do we got here? Is that this? That's a store. What's this? Where you buy your saplings? So you will buy your equipment and your saplings right here at the farm. And then this is an entrance? Is it just an entrance? Is that a scale house? I 
kind of looks like a scale, but I don't actually see... There's no display for it, so that's... whatever. Um, let's run over here. This looks like where your cows would be. There's no cow symbol, but obviously everybody knows that that little milking thing, whatever it is there, looks like. And then there's a water trough, so I'm guessing this is where your milk your milk cows are. Is there, not a, is there not a way to open that? Is that not open? Maybe not. Uh, looks like, yeah. Then you drive through here and dump all your good stuff. This definitely looks like, this, this kind of seems like it's a map to where if you just want to do like very large scale farming then you can do some large scale farming and it will be lots of fun if that's all you want to do and you don't have to sit there and grind out and get machinery and get a little bit of money here and a little bit of money there and all that good stuff um, then you can just download this map and you start with everything you start with all the fields I think all the fields are probably planted let's just take a look here I think it is uh, yeah, everything is planted. Most everything is grown. It looks like field one is the only one that's not planted. Okay, so there's still a field you get to pick what gets goes it goes in it. But other than that, you can see you got wheat, barley, 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 corn, corn, canola, canola, and the canola fields are the only ones that aren't grown. And then you got a field with nothing in it. Okay. Um, is there anything else you need to know? Here's a sell point. It looks like there's one, two, buy cup, oh, uh, uh, I don't know. And then Ryep, Brambory, biomass heating plant, that sort of thing. What's over here? I don't have a pickup. I think we're just going to drive around in the semi, probably with the trailer on it, just for fun. But we'll do a little bit of walking around first. Uh, let's see. So this is potato and sugar beet storage over here. Just in case you guys need to know where that is. It looks like this is probably where you fill your trailers with your grain. Um, that kind of looks like that's where it'd be, but there's no like road under it. So I'm assuming that's not where you would fill out. It's probably just an aesthetics thing. Looks like this is where you dump your grain. Right next to your giant silos. Um, as I always say, I normally always say at the end, but some people might not tune in to the end. If there's ever any questions about any of the maps I download, you can always ask me. It, I most likely won't know, but I can always, I would always be willing to help you out trying to figure out the answer. Um, normally, the only time I'll do a map is if I think it looks fairly decent. I mean, it doesn't mean that I would play on it per se, but it looks good. Like this one, when you first look at the picture on the website, it might look all flat, and it might still be. But if you're standing here, you can't see it. I mean, it looks, you know, it looks fairly decent. You can't like see from one side of the map to the other. So we'll do some running around. I think that's about all in the farm. This looks like the tractor's sell point. So he's kind of combined the store uh, with the farm, <clears throat> which is fine. That's kind of like a, a personal preference thing, I think. Um, looks like these are your silos for making uh, silage. Or fill pits, or I can't remember what people call them. But we got our semi over here, and it's green, unfortunately. I don't know why you'd start people out with a green semi. But my steering wheel is active, as you can see. Do a bit of whipping around here. But yeah, I only have the mods that are requested. Is this open? Yeah, it opens. Good. There's no display for the scale. Alright, where do we want to go? Uh, we want to make our way up to that. Let's go toward the bio, bio, I guess, uh, biomass heating plant, I guess. I haven't seen, I don't see any traffic, so maybe there's no traffic on this map. Looks like there's a little bit of a creek, so he did some contour work. And all the fields look like they, they were a little hilly. You know, they go up and down. They're not completely flat. So that's kind of nice. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, it's, he didn't leave the map like all flat and stuff. Because that is one of the things that just, it, it kills it for me if you leave it, like, completely flat. Um, we're not turning here. If we turn here, where does that go? Just down the side of the field, maybe? I don't really know. This goes, yeah, this goes to the biomass heating plant. That's pretty cool, though. Little mud paths through the fields. Oh, running off the road a little bit. 
You might have to excuse me. I actually went running today after work. So I'm a little, like, flustered. Not really flustered, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't ever exercise. So, like, when you do get around to exercising or you decide you want to exercise, uh, you know, your muscles are sore. Your mind's kind of, like, ramped up and going. I mean, it's like a crazy, crazy feeling. Lots and lots of adrenaline's rushing. Oh, these are cool looking. What are these? Well, that's the three little round things that are always, like, really white on the map. That's kind of neat. Alright, so that's... This is the biogas plant. Didn't it say biomass? It did say biomass. Um, this is the biogas plant, right? It does. Wait, what? Wood chips. Hmm. Am I in the wrong place? Maybe. I don't really know. I wonder if this is like one big silage silo. Why does my stuff always turn off? I don't understand why that always turns off on me. It is one big silage silo. Wow. That's crazy. Look at that. I think it's three and one though. It kept like switching on and off. Let's go over here. It says it's over. Oh, there's the wood chip thing. Okay. So the biomass and the biogas is both here at the same place. So just in case you log on and you're like wondering where it's at, that's where it's at. It's also, the biomass is the biogas. Just to be clear. Because that would confuse me if I was playing on this and I was looking for it. I don't know that I would automatically drive up here to find it. Let's do a bit of driving around the map. I'll zoom out so you guys can actually see it. And there's a little bit, like, there's spaces in the field there, but if you know anything, if you've watched my channel for a bit, that's just rendering. That's like, it's not rendering in because I've changed my rendering settings. Let's just go this way. We need to go kind of to the left, like in that general direction. Can we drive down there? It looks like we can. You just got like a bunch of little ponds all over the place. That's kind of neat. I mean, it'd be kind of a pain if you're mowing this, but that's that's fairly neat. You know, it adds a little bit. Sometimes you don't get perfect land. If you buy bottom ground, there might be a little bit of, you know, contour to it, which might like cause the ground to sink in or something like that. And create little like sinkholes or pits or ponds or something like that. Let's see, this looks like it's definitely probably fertilized already. So I guess you just plant it. I'm assuming there's no collision on those trees, but we're not going to drive through them. I don't know if you guys actually like, I don't know if people actually like this version, like this way of looking around a map, like zoomed out. It seems like you might. I mean, it gives you a good view of what the map looks like. We're still traveling around. We're at a really good speed. I try my best always to look at everything. You know, that's, that's one of the things, because if I'm doing a tour and a review, the review may, all, all, may, may not always be positive. Oh, he's got one of those little, uh, like, bee trailers. You know what I'm saying? Like, the honeybee trailers, like, on, uh, Dolsk of us, or that map I play on. That's cool, though. I mean, that's, that looks like kind of a spot where you'd put it. Which, I don't know if that's a real thing. I mean, are there places that people just keep their bees on a trailer? I mean, is that a thing? Because I don't even... Is it, oh, there's a little town. That's kind of neat. Right outside a field. There's a little town where you come hang out. He might have put... Should have put, like, a cell point here somewhere, maybe. Like, I don't know, over there, maybe? I don't know. Just recommendations, man. Don't, don't get all upset and stuff. Normally, if I dislike a map enough to say that, you know, I absolutely hate it, I just, I don't do a, a tour on it, because it just seems kind of pointless. I don't want to sit there and, like, bash somebody's map, you know, because I understand, like, I've never made a map, but I do understand the fact that maps are difficult. From what people say, they take a lot of work. So here's one of the cell points. And then, what else do we have? It looks like there's another one. Right here, maybe? I'm assuming this is sugar beets. Yeah. 
And then potatoes. Okay, so this is where you sell your sugar beets and potatoes. I'm assuming you could probably just drive right... Yeah, you could just drive right through here. And sell your sugar beets and potatoes in here. So that's probably a thing. Alright, that's good, man. That's good. Looks like it's all set up. It's all set up, prepped and ready to go. We'll head head straight back toward the farm. So if I can do this video, like knock it out and it's fairly short and that sort of thing, which my tours and my tour and review videos, I, I don't know that they'll ever be real long. Just because like all we do is drive around, we talk about the map, we look at it. Uh, I don't want to make it real long because if somebody's considering getting the map, you know, and they look up my video, you know, if you're watching this because you want to, cons you're considering getting the map, but you're not sure, and you just want to see like a short video, that's why I try to make it fairly short. I'm not trying to rush things and stuff, but that's why I also always say that, you know, if you have any questions, if you want me to like, you know, go in and try to figure something out, because I can, if I remember right, no, it doesn't do it anymore. Uh, I used to be able to like pop up like the, oh, I can't even remember what it's called, the developer's schematic or whatever, I don't know what it's called, where all the like colored lines pop up to tell you where like trigger points are and stuff. Mine doesn't do that anymore. Maybe it's because I uninstalled it and then reinstalled it or whatever. Not sure, but if I can make this short enough, I'm probably still going to do a Willow Tree episode today. If you're watching this and a Willow Tree episode was uploaded today, then I accomplished my goal. Which I'm assuming I should be able to. What is this about? Um, is there a fill level? There is. Is this just like a big silage pit? Yeah. There's two fill levels though. And there's two fill levels, two compacting. So this is like a double pit almost. A quadruple pit. That's interesting. Okay. Wait, what did I press? Oh, I pressed F5. Okay, F9 is my recording button, so I had to make sure I was still recording. Um, if we go this way, where does it go? Uh, I guess we go down and see what LES is. That's probably just a grass field or something, but we can head that way and check it out anyway. Like you have corn, and like I said, like those spots, that, like there, I don't see any over there, but all that area there that, you know, it doesn't look like there's anything in it. It probably won't look like that on yours because I've changed my render setting. I can show you right quick what I'm talking about. If I drive through here, does it show up? It's supposed to show up. No, it's not showing up. If I had drive control on, it would probably show up because it would actually kill the crop. But when you guys like look at it, it should be fine. My render, my uh, render can't remember what it's called. The style of render my game uses, I changed it. And it, for some reason, it does that. The crops don't render in properly or something. But when you combine it, it'll be there. So don't worry about that. Oh, this is just trees. Um, I should be able to just drive across this field, I think. That's kind of neat, though. I mean, look at this. This is very cool. I mean, it is a giant map. The fields are humongous. Um, I mean, that's probably the only thing I wouldn't like about it, personally. Um, but if you're a person that just loves, like, running combines and doing big fields, seeding, all that stuff, and you want a little bit of hilly map or something, um, then this is your deal, man. This is your thing. Is this timber? Ooh. Okay, so this kind of looks like your logging operation. This would be where you'd cut all your trees down, maybe. Maybe that's what LES stands for? Does he actually cut trees down, or did he somehow just add those? No, I think he's actually cut those down. Like, he, he actually put in a bunch of trees, cut them down, and then, like, changed the game or something, I think. Only one way to test. Let's, let's test it. He actually goes through the trouble of uh, actually installing all these trees. 
can remember how to use a chainsaw. If it if he did, this should register. Unless he just found a bunch of random stumps, maybe? It doesn't register. And you, there's no collisions on it. Maybe he didn't do that. I don't know. It looks neat, though. I guess it's nice. It look, makes it look nice, but you don't drive into it. Feel like you can just drive through here and it doesn't like mess anything up. So that's fairly nice. I mean, it's a nice aesthetic prop. You know, it's like you've already. It's like somebody's already owned the land. They've been in here logging a little bit. Got your nice little logging road out. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I I like that. I was gonna say it's like I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a field. Why is it brown in the middle? Is it actually missing a bunch of stuff? Is it actually dead out in the middle? No, it's there. Huh. Maybe when he was coloring his map he just missed a spot or something. I suppose. What's over this way? If I take this road and I just follow the roads and get back to the farm. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You can't really see the like most of the roads on the map. I don't think. Oh, this is a little bitty road. I thought this is that one we was already on. It's kind of neat looking though, ain't it? Got a little tree trail through here. He's he's actually done a little bit of ridging there on the left. I mean, he's done he's done a good amount of work on this. It seems. You know, I, I think it's a nice map. I, I would give it a good good review. Or a good rating, I guess you could say. Maybe I'll start rating my maps. Like, find, you know, the Butcher Man rating scale 1 through 10. You know, or even have, like, a rating to where I find, like, different size knives. Like, a little bitty thin knife would be a 1, and then a big old thick you know, uh, cleaver, like meat cleaver would be a 10. But like, if you get the meat cleaver, you did a good job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. Or maybe if you got the meat cleaver, you did a bad job. I mean, how should I do that? If you guys think I should do like a, a butcher knife, uh, a butcher man knife rating, or even just a rating system, maybe give me some suggestions. If I start doing, like, I'm going to do maps on a regular basis, so... Should I come up with a rating system for these things? You know, that may, maybe if you're looking through my channel and you already know the rating system, then you can just look at the thumbnail and I'll have put uh, a size of knife with a number in it on the thumbnail. You know, um, I think that'd be pretty neat. Then you can just look through the thumbnails or whatever in my uh, tour and review maps and you're just like, I'm looking for a meat cleaver. I'm looking for a meat cleaver. You know, or maybe you're looking for, like, a steak knife. You know, maybe you're looking for a map that's, you know, not really the greatest, but it'll work. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm always trying to think of new ideas, you know, for entertainment purposes. You know, to have a little bit of fun with it and stuff. But he's went through, he's definitely went through the trouble of doing some, like, random stuff. Like, putting this water trailer out here. And I'm guessing there's actually water in there. Oops, wrong button. Nope, can't see it, but it's there. And then there's even like uh, this stuff in here. What happens if we buy a couple of cows? I didn't see anything about sheep. Uh, so you guys might have to look. We buy like four cows, because I think that's all we can afford. How's it look? Cow, cow, cows in here. Right on. And there's sound. There's even cow sounds now. That's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy, but hey. It's the little things. It is the little things that count. Which is a little bit of lag now. I'm looking at the cow, I think. And it actually walks out the door. I was wondering about that. That's why I was sitting there watching her. It's like, does she walk out the door or does she walk through the wall? Because some people make their maps and the cows just like walk through the walls and through trailers or over trailers or something crazy like that but she actually walked through the door of the shed so that's amazing it means he actually did like cow pathing or something like that but yeah this is all the equipment you start with and this is what we use for our tour today 
But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. And I will probably be trying to do a Willow Tree episode today. So just stay tuned for that. This is the Butcher Man. Y'all come back now, you hear?